Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Okay, I was not expecting to, I'm gonna admit, what I was gonna talk about wasn't gonna be this today, but... I just got a message from Life Adventures of Christian, or I'm just gonna go by Christian on this one, saying, like, he sent me a link to a video that, as of this recording, he posted recently, actually. Um, he posted this video at around, I would say maybe 11 p.m. It's about 6 in the morning right now, but he sent me a link about then. I was kind of half asleep, so I didn't really pay heed to it until I woke up earlier. Now... This video is a response to what he was talking about. If you have not seen his video yet, go check it out. Link in the description below. That way you kind of have a feel on what's going on. The question, the question I'm going to be answering, though, is the question of can this be cured? And it's not a question that he directly asked, but I just felt like this is something that needed to be said. This is more a video towards Christian than anything else, I will admit that it's a word of advice, one that I have followed for myself. This is going to be tough for me to talk about, I will admit that. I don't talk about stuff like this very often, that's why, but from friend to friend I do feel like it's necessary. Or, I guess more accurately, brother to brother. There are some diseases, or disorders, depending on how you look at it, and depending on what you mean directly, that cannot be cured, but rather adapted to. This might seem a bit confusing, and to those who know what I'm talking about, it might be a bit difficult. But it is the way you go about it. Good examples, I'm actually going to avoid the one that he chose, just for variety's sake. A good example of this is depression. Severe depression. One that nags at you every single day. Something you suffer from, something that some people have to take medications for. But the reality of it is, this is self-cured, but really depends on the amounts that you get. What I mean by this is, is the same, this answer I'm about to give is the same answer that goes towards what Christian is going through. No. Yes, there are ways it can be cured, but in the context of what I've seen come from him and come from others and even myself, no, it's not needed. But it can be difficult. The reason I chose depression as an example towards this is because I think it gives it paints a pretty good picture of what I'm thinking of. And that image is this. Someone goes through depression, what goes through their head? It's kind of like that angel and devil thing that I was talking about in the video I uploaded yesterday. Um, however, for a situation like this, it becomes a much more dire problem. But the answer to some most of the circumstances on this, from what I've seen, sometimes it's medication, but for the most part, for the most part, it's adaption. Now, what I mean by that is this: say I had at a point I had depression. Not say I did. Depression, like the thing Christian's going through. Once again, I'm not going to say what it is. If you guys want to check it out. If you have not yet, go check out his video. Once again, link in the description below for that. It's like fear. Because that's basically what it is. Fear of something. Does fear ever go away? Well, most think so. But the reality of it is, it never does. It's just overcome. 
Depression, as the example I was using, is like this. You'll always have that side of your brain that keeps telling you, under these circumstances, you did bad, you should be punished for the... Like, it'll torture you. Try to attack you. You'll always have that side of your brain that does it. However, the best way to get out of it, to confirm it won't come back, is to treat it as a fear. And rather than... This is where it becomes more easy to say in words. It's easier said than done. This bit. Fair warning. I'm admitting this now. That way I know what I'm saying. But, like fear, you need to approach it and accept it. Accept the fact. This is never easy. Ever. For anybody. This is why most of the time, those who can't seem to get over stuff like this, whether it's depression, anxiety, PTSD, anger management even, stuff like that, some people can get over it. Because some people, like most who deal with like four-fifths of these, the only one that doesn't really deal with it as often is the anger management, but for those who do put up with that other kind of stuff, it usually comes as a fear. Of what? Well, your subconscious would know. And my best advice for this kind of thing is don't push it away, but don't lash out at others for this kind of thing. This is a commonly known trait. Rather than that, accept it. Look at the past, go, yes, that happened, but it's then. This is now. I want to push forward, leave me alone. Talking to your own mind. Is this easy? Hell no. No way. Uh-uh. Never is. But the most curable way I've noticed is exactly that. And for the circumstance Christian's going through right now, Christian, if you're watching this, which you will, once it's out, you will, because I'll send you a link to it, then... It's probably your best bet. You go through a lot, my friend. <laughs> a lot more than you need to. Maybe some of it's put on you. Maybe others put on, put it upon you. But regardless, it still has been impacting. And, well, it makes things worse because of what you've gone through. Chin up. I know someone already said, by the time I have made this video, somebody has already said that. In fact, shout out to this particular one comment, which I'm looking over at right now. Fellow subscription on my channel as well, David Broadhead. Keep your head up. It's not easy. But. I agree with him on that one statement. Keep your head up. I think this is good advice for anybody else who also goes through anything of the sorts. Depression, anxiety, PTSD. Sometimes those with like ADD or ADHD sometimes go through this kind of stuff. Bipolar disorder. A lot of these have to do with fears. Not so much bipolar, but the rest of them? Yeah. I've seen several circumstances where this is the case, and best resolve I've ever seen to get over something like this is accept reality as it is and say yes that happened but that was then not now how in what ways does what happened to me then impact how I am as myself now and why should this give me anxiety why should these fears that I've grown to have over the past time, why should I be afraid of it now? It's only just blank. For example, spiders. It's only a bug. I fear them. They're creepy. Yeah, and this is a common one too. But they're definitely avoidable. 
I'll accept the fact that I'm afraid of them. And this is hypothetical, by the way. I'm not afraid of spiders. It's just a very good example. But what am I to do? They're there. There's nothing I can do about it. Many are afraid. And I will be afraid. But I will accept that fear. I will accept who I am. And that statement right there, ladies and gents, not an easy one to make. Let alone the action following it. But for something like what once again, Christian, what you're going through, it's probably one of your better bets. And for any of you out there who are going through, if you've seen his video, a similar mindset, or going through any of the things that I listed, there are many out there who are right there with you. Whether they've gone through it or not is, is irrelevant. got people by your side no matter what happens this is something I feel like it needed to be said just I, I once again I was gonna make something entirely different but once I saw actually watched through the video which admittedly was hours after it was sent to me so that is my bad that was on me but I was completely exhausted when it was first sent to me this was something that I definitely felt like needed to be said though Maybe not, definitely for Christian's sake, but I feel like it was for more than just that. I hope it was for more than just that. If my advice helps anybody, then, well, that'll bring a smile to my face, because that's one of the reasons why I have this channel. To make those smile, to make others happy, and to help others out who need it, who have gone through a rough time. Medically, mentally, physically, because quite frankly, this is a story for another day, but I've gone through all three of those in my own ways. In the meantime, once again, I do hope what I've said helped. I'm going to head off. I'm <laughs> I, 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 I can't do much more talking right now. I want to be more mentally prepped for the video that you guys... If you guys watch the gaming stuff on my channel, I want to be more prepped for that video later on today. I want to be more mentally prepared, especially since it's... Got a lot of stress involved, as far as I know, because I was unable to do the thing that I said I was gonna do. Anyway. I do need to be mentally prepped for that, at least. But thank you guys for sticking around for this video. Let me know in the comments below if I missed any details that might help. If you did see that video and you want to give some advice, any add-ons to the statements that I've made, put it down in the comments below, please. For those of you who go through this kind of stuff, look down there if there is anything. If there's anything negative, trust me, it won't be on there for very long anyway, because I'll take it off once I see it. And I always do. In that regard... I, as I said, I'm going to leave this video here. Need to clear my head up for a more upbeat video later on uh, for the whole gaming thing because that's the second half of my channel. However, in support of him, if you aren't subscribed to Life Adventures of Christian yet, I don't normally do this on um, discussion rant videos, but I think this is important. If you have not subscribed to Christian's channel yet and you like vlogs, you like reality check type vlogs make sure to go check his channel out every now and then yes he'll do some kind of like reaction video or he'll do he'll do a couple different things of his own which recently he's been taking it upon himself to vlog his thoughts which I commend him for that um that can be a bit sensitive sometimes but I do still recommend it that being said definitely go check out his channel I've been supporting him for a while now um, the links to both my channel and his will be in the corners where usually DNR videos are, but this today was a bit of a special case. The icon that says, I hope it says that, it just in case it doesn't, go join the adventure with Life Adventures of Christian, 
And if you have not yet, check out my channel where you can board the Nostalgia Train with the rest of us who love to see classic icons, whether video games or statements. But in the meantime, thank you guys for watching this video again. I, again, one last time, I really hope this did help anybody who needed it. I'm going to head off once more. Thanks again for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see you in another one. Bye for now.